this is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have joined me before. I am here today for what will probably be quite a quick video because I've put my camera on and it hardly has any battery. <laughs> but I really wanted to get these unboxed today because I've only got a day or two to get the warranty registered for these Amazon.com paintings, which is what I'm here to show you. Um, I've, I've been ordering via my stack re box again, getting a few things. I have here a craftably um, craftably have recently closed down and I wanted to grab a painting um, just before they went because there were some things that I'd wanted to get for ages. Um, so then whilst I was already doing a bigger parcel via my Stackery um, box that I knew would cost me a fair bit to ship over anyway, I wanted to make the most of that and get a couple of Amazon.com exclusives that I've been wanting for a while because you can't actually order Diamond Art Club Amazon.com exclusives directly to the UK. Um, they only ship, well, I think they ship to a couple of places like Canada as well as the US, but they don't ship over here. So I have got these and the Craftably will be coming in another unboxing video soon. And I also have an item down here at the bottom of the box that you can't see, which is going to be in my next small shop showcase. So let me move the box to the side. And let's crack straight on because I'm very conscious of <laughs> the time limit set by my camera. I have no idea why it's not charged enough actually. I normally charge it up quite regularly and I have obviously missed a trick. Right. But these are only Diddy paintings so they, they won't take too long to show you anyway. So let me get the wrappers off. <laughs> and here they are. So I have Huggable by Randall Spangler. Um, this is a round painting and it's only 32.8 by 32.8 centimetres, so really nice and snack sized. And then I have Paint the Moon by Kusin Kiesel. Um, not sure how to pronounce that, sorry. This is 33 by 46 centimetres, so I think it's the same size as the Starry Night one that I did quite recently and showed in a post review video. Um, and I've wanted this one for ages. Or is this one there? There were quite a few that I was choosing between, and I wasn't sure which one to get, and I ended up plumping for this one. So, this little square kit is just, yeah, I really enjoyed the snack size square kit. Um, well, kits really that I've done recently. And a lot of the Amazon.com exclusives that Diamond Art Club offers, whoops, <laughs> I've had a slight toolkit malfunction there, um, tend to be a little bit, um, no, not a little bit, they tend to be completely round drills. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why. I think because maybe they are trying to get kind of people who aren't familiar with diamond painting, that kind of thing is their target market on on Amazon, um, you know, just like getting them interested in the craft because they might come across them browsing on Amazon. And, and rounds sort of seen as the sort of the easier thing to start with, isn't it? But I love the snack size squares because yeah, you just don't get a huge amount of them. And the thing is rounds do give you less detail for the same size. So it's really limited what things they can render in snack size in round. Anyway, I'm waffling. If you buy from Amazon.com, just be aware um, that Diamond Art Club do still give you a warranty, but you do have to register it separately, which is why I wanted to make sure I got this open because I need to register within 30 days of purchase and that's almost up. So, I will take a very quick pick, quick, <laughs> quick pick. <laughs> A very quick peek at the toolkit. I was so conscious of my battery ticking down. It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> so um, I got some pink washi tape. I got a macaron cover minder, a nice pink pen and squishy, some baggies of course, a four and a seven placer and a little pot with two plates of heart-shaped pink wax. And one of these trays, so this one, um, 
when they first switched to these toolkits, they did these trays and then they switched to white ones. So yeah, I haven't had one of these for a while. Right, let me try and get these things put away and get into the painting because that is what I want to look at most. So just like when you buy from Diamond Art Club's website, it will come in a dust cover bag just like this. Everything is the same but miniature. <laughs> We do sell some bigger paintings via Amazon, I think, but most of them tend to be snack size. So I've got the usual strokably soft canvas. And I have no idea about things like the colours. I think, do you see the render? I think you see the render picture, but you don't see the usual details. You get like how many colours there are. Um, thank you for your purchase. Um, so this has got tips and tricks, how to diamond paint, discount codes. Um, so if you're purchasing from Diamond Art Club directly, you can always, always, always save money on your purchase. And there's a couple of discount codes in here, like this one for 20% off your first purchase on the app. I also have a couple down below in the description box. If you've never bought from Diamond Art Club directly before, you can use CAT20 for 20% off your first purchase or CAT10 for $10 off or the equivalent in your local currency. No obligation, obviously, but, um, but use a discount code because there's always, always, always one available to you. Okay, so here is the image. And oh, there's only 28 colors. Wow, that surprises me. I mean, not really looking at the picture because it is quite a simple image, isn't it? But you just don't often get a painting with so few colours. However, given how small it is, that absolutely makes sense and isn't a problem for me. I don't like doing large paintings with not many colours because I get a bit bored. With a small one, that isn't going to be a problem. And actually, when I did the last one of this size, it had 60 something colours and it was beautiful for it, don't get me wrong, but it was a lot of kitting up for a very small project. So the colours, as you can imagine, are just predominantly like blues and purples. And then there's some nice pinks and the golden colours. How many ABs have I got? Four ABs actually, amongst those 28 colours. That's, that's not bad going. So there's a purple, a blue, a yellow and a white. And I can see a little bit through this side. Can you just see that? It's a pinky purple one rather. In fact, yeah, it's 111, DMC code 111. One of my favorite ABs because yes, I am that much of a nerd that I have favorite DMC codes. Um, and there's the blue one and there's the white. Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna go into these because I don't have much time and I don't tend to do that in most unboxings anyway. And also I'm really conscious of how small these boxes are and wanting, <laughs> I'd never get it rolled up again as neat and tidy and then I would not get it in the box properly. Oh, I didn't turn my phone on silent. That was a BBC News alert in the background, hang on. I'm just putting my phone on silent. So, have a look at the painting. Honestly, I really, really, really enjoyed the Starry Night one. If you haven't seen it, then go check out my recent post review. I think I called it something like post review, free snack size kits, because that's what it was. It was free small kits that kind of didn't warrant their own post reviews. When I was on a bit of a kick of doing snack size ones to get some more finishes under my belt. And yeah, genuinely one of my favorite paintings I've done in a while because it was so satisfying. Okay, here it is. Ooh, it's quite crumpled. Right, not to panic. I'm gonna use the cover to force it to flatten out a bit more, but this is a little more clump, clumpled, <laughs> crumpled than the average painting you get. Um, I'm not sure why, but I might have to kind of flatten this out or something before I work on it, put it under some heavy books. If you ever have a painting that's really super creased, you can also do things like iron it on a low temperature on the back with like tea towels and things to protect the glue. I've never tried it. I think I'm unlikely to because the idea unnerves me <laughs> in case I destroy the glue. Um, so I'm more likely to just put up with a few creases, but there are options if you ever have that scenario. And yeah, it is gorgeous. I really like this one. 
it's got a fair amount of colour blocking, hasn't it? Um, so like the sky area, I mean it's broken up by the stars but there is a lot of blocking up there. And you can see these ABs coming through it as well. So the, the four symbol that you can see all the way through the sky is obviously going to be the white AB. And then the three symbol is the yellow one and that's all in here. A lot of white in the moon as well. And two is a blue one, so I'm guessing, yeah, that's in amongst all these blue bits down here. And one is a symbol for the pink one, and that's down here and here and here. So yeah, quite a lot of ABs going on. Oh, some, was there some more up there? No, anyway, quite a lot of AB action um, for a small painting, which I like. I think, particularly when you've got a moon and stars and things, you expect a little bit of glowiness in the render, don't you? And I love paintings like this as well that have um, black, like a silhouette bit, and then that will be, you know, popping out from the background. I think that will be really pretty. So yeah, very happy to finally have this one. I have been eyeing it up for ages. A little bit, I was thinking, oh, it's really simple, and I do normally go for more detailed pieces. But then having actually worked on a couple of super snack sized pieces and just enjoyed that so much as a change from the big detailed ones, I was like, yeah, no, that is, the, the detail of a larger piece is, is a sacrifice I'm happy to make to just have a quicker project now and again. And that is what this will be, okay. So that is Paint the Moon and I'm going to roll that one up and quickly show you Huggable before my battery runs out. I don't know about you, I don't trust um, like battery warnings at all, like I'm the kind of person that always has to put my phone on charge when it hits 20% <laughs> and uh, it said that I have 31 minutes of filming available when I started and I don't trust that. I'm thinking any minute it's all just going to drain away and close off. Oh, I can't get that in. I'm so freaked out about time. I'm going to put that aside and deal with that afterwards. Okay. <laughs> so, giving you a bit of an insight into uh, my chaotic mind when I'm up against a deadline. So, onto Huggable, which is even smaller than Paint the Moon. And as I said, there were several Randall Spanglers to choose, which were this sort of oh, size. <laughs> can't get the things out if not exactly this size um oh goodness me i won't bother trying to put these toolkits back in the boxes because it is such a tight squeeze um and yeah so there are more that i may go back for in the future but these this one and the one i have already which is called no idea what it's called <laughs> um are, are very very sweet so I've got a lovely little flower cover minder and some flowery washi tape as well. Okay, won't surprise you that I'm putting those away again. I mean, you've seen a lot of toolkits unboxed on this channel and others, haven't you? After a certain point, they're all the same. The only thing that is different about this toolkit really, apart from the colors, and, and designs of the individual items is that there's no tweezers because it's a round kit. So, it is so adorably small. <laughs> okay, so what have I got with this one? Ooh, more colors, smaller painting, but more colors. Isn't it adorable? I do love Randall Spanglers, but because there's so many of them, it's nice having them in small sizes. I mean, they lend themselves to it because they can be quite simple. Like this, this is a relatively simplistic design that you can see how they were able to render it small. Um, <coughs> but also because I don't want to be working on them all the time. If I only had big ones, I wouldn't get through them. So this, these small ones let me do a Randall Spangler, enjoy getting that, that hit of draggling cuteness. Um, without it taking forever. So I've got 44 colours, loads of bright gorgeous shades here and two ABs, uh, a green one and ooh is that like a sort of beige one? I love beige ABs. The topping tends to be like pink and I just I really like it. <laughs> so really bright beautiful colours, lovely and clear symbols, just exactly what you'd expect from Diamond Art Club. 
I just had to pause to check. I've got 15 minutes left. I'm okay. <laughs> um, so with this one, I'm just going to... Yeah, it's so narrow, you can't actually see many of the colours through the side. And again, I don't want to take them out for the same reasons. But trust me that I can see lots of gorgeous bright shades in there. Obviously, greens from the draglings. There's also always a lot of neutrally brown tones in Randall Spangler's for sort of background details. But then really bright pops of colour. Yay! <laughs> okay. Again, quite crumpled. I don't know if it's just because of the small boxes. Maybe they will fare better when I put them away without the toolkit. Because I think the toolkit bag really is a little bit big for these, these tiny boxes. Probably does a little bit of damage when they have to squish it in. Oh, oh he's so adorable. do that as firmly as possible to smooth it out I'm not sure it's made much difference oh well you can see it and I don't care about you know creases off the canvas but they are probably ones that will need to go under books just to flatten them a little bit more before I work on them so yeah here is huggable isn't it sweet and yes, yeah, so, so snack size. This is such a nice quick project. I mean, some of the super speedy people out there could get this done in a day or two. It would take me longer, but not, not very long at all. Um, a fair bit of, well, small areas of color blocking. I would say it's, it's a mixture, isn't it? It's not really confetti, but it's also not got big blocks of color, which would make sense with, you know, actually quite a decent number of colors for a small canvas. I love I love the cookie theme in Spanglers. So they the draglings, what these are, come from a land called Omlandia, and they like to come through to our world to steal things like chocolate chips and cookies. So the the paintings very frequently feature cookies and food and just other things like that. And what else is in this one? Because I, I'm not good at picking things out. So there's a tea bag, and a cup, and a spoon. So yeah. I wonder why. I guess it's just called Huggable because he's reaching his arms out like he's been caught and saying, Hi, hug me. <laughs> and he is. He is very huggable. I say he, the real um, draggling aficionados would know which one it is because I know that you can tell by the number of um, like balls on the tail. And there are two distinct draglings that feature in most of the paintings. And I think one might be called Dragmar and I'm not sure what the other one's called. Um, but yeah, if you know, put it in the comments because I just, I love that there's a whole lore behind them. But I do not remember that much. I have, I've reached the limit of the information I have to share with you about draglings. I just think they're adorable. Oh, the, the brown that always features is, is also the colour of their bellies, of course. Um, so the ABs in this one, there is a pale green one, which I see dotted through the little draggling. And then two is the symbol for the other one. And it's there's little lines of it around here, but not very much of it. So to contrast with Paint the Moon, this one is pretty low on the ABs. Although, of course, if special drills are your jam and you pick up this painting, you can always just switch them out. Um, I tend to just do paintings exactly as they're charted because I don't really have the, the creative mindset for doing anything that I think would improve them. So I tend to just go with the rendering as it is. But yeah, there's always that option. So there you go. There is Huggable and paint the moon and I think once my camera's charged up I'm gonna have to take a peek at that craftably <laughs> so that one's gonna be coming soon too um, because I'm, I'm excited about that one slightly disappointed because I should have had two but the postal service uh, made an error and somehow destroyed the first order um, and by that point the other one that I had ordered had gone out of stock so craftably very kindly sent me a replacement for the one they did still have and a refund for the other, which I felt really bad about because they're closing down 
and then my order has ended up costing them money but um yeah I, I don't know how else you can resolve a situation like that really um but anyway I have one of them and I am excited to have a look at that so Thank you very much for having a look at these with me. If you have enjoyed what I've done here, please consider dropping a like on the video. Um, if you like what I've done here and you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please consider doing that and sticking around for more content. I don't normally talk quite this fast. I have been quite paranoid the whole way through about the, the, <laughs> the video battery, the camera battery, as I've said. Um, but yeah, just don't be put off if, if I'm rabbiting on at high speed. <laughs> <laughs> that's not your thing um yeah and i will hopefully see you again soon bye bye <laughs>